Hey, what's up guys? It's K-Rod here. I'm back with another good video. Uh, I wanted to cover up on some stories for some Puerto Rican uh, boxing news. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is really pissing me off. I don't know how I'm going to control myself talking about this, but according to Boxing Conversations with Reggie Owens, uh, Felix Verde's show had been arrested recently of a possible murder of his, uh, I guess, former wife of some sort. Not sure if this is not the same woman he's with, but this looks like a different woman that he he had impregnated at, at a certain point in time. Keisha Marlon uh, Rodriguez Ortiz. Um, this is a woman that I guess he had an affair with. And I guess according to police reports, uh, she had been murdered uh, at the time of, I guess, like a night where Felix could have possibly been the suspect to kill her, as she had called Felix uh, several times well, within uh, of the given night. Basically, I'm just going to shorten it. She, she basically got killed out of some, you know, out of nowhere dispute. And I guess, you know, Felix could have been the one, you know, responsible of taking her life away. And Felix tried to, you know, like, refuse let the possible allegations being put against him. And I guess, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess, if anything, if the evidence shows that, you know, he was like, the one that killed her. Because, you know, when she got killed, she got thrown off of, like, a bridge. And there was a car that was matching the same car that Felix drove in the sense of her being killed off of at the bridge balcony but uh yeah if felix is found guilty he's fucked um i'm just gonna put my two cents in to say this is completely evil um i don't understand how felix verdejo comes to this conclusion but my message is you're not a puerto rican anymore like you don't ever treat a woman like that number one i don't care who the fuck you are um, even if I don't like certain women in this world that I truly hate and I would truly have, you know, pure ill will towards one, which I mean, if, you know, if she's evil and she's sadistic and she's like, yeah, um, if she's criminally insane, then yes, then I will, you know, wish harm on that person that wishes to do harm to me. But, you know, innocent women, no, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do stuff like that because, you know, I'm going to be a man and I'm going to, you know, treat, treat, treat women with uh, the deepest respect ever. And, you know, that's just how I'm raised and built, you know, in the sense that, you know, I'm not going to, you know, make any woman, you know, you know, feel like crap if I'm going to be a jerk off to her. No, you know, I'm, I'm going to treat a woman in good spirits and I'm going to set an example for myself to, show to other people why I do have respect for females and I'm not going to let females, you know, be abused compared to what some other guys in the world do. But for this type of situation here, um, I got like, the link copied, so I'm going to put it into the description. This is just pure evil. Like, I don't, I don't understand how Felix ever came to this point, but I really don't care either way because for you to do something this mentally insane, I, I really, I really do hope that your life is taken, yeah, taken away, because this is just as bad as pedophilia or any other high-level crime that you could think of on a larger scale. I don't give a fuck about, you know, what the situation came down to be, that, oh, you know, he had drama, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. When you murder a woman innocent, yeah, yeah, basically, like, you know, you murder a woman out of pure malicious intent that did no harm to you other than, yeah, she may have had, like, a couple, yeah, a couple disputes with you and you got pissed off at times. It does not give you the full, you know, green light to go after a woman's life and just take her down like that. She didn't do anything wrong to you other than you just being pissed off, probably had some, some fucked up anger that you couldn't fucking control so you decided to go kill like your fucking girl who the fuck does that that's just as worse as yeah that's just as worse as this one fucking story that i that i 
you know, that I looked at years ago when I was back in high school of this one white man that killed his own baby daughter because he wasn't built to be a father and then he just ends up killing his baby daughter and yet his family still accepts him knowing that, you know, he's a fucked up father. It's like, if you're not built to be a parent, then don't ever be a damn parent. You should be put to, yeah, you, yeah, you should be put to death if you kill your own goddamn kid. But when you're a boyfriend or, you know, sexual partner or husband of a woman that you are going to bring another child to the world in, then you should never fucking do that to, to like, you know, to um anybody. But I mean, you know, um, it's almost ju- just as bad as like a woman killing her own boyfriend in the sense of him trying to be there for his wife or girlfriend. And then he ends up getting killed by her out of some, you know, malicious intent that she thinks that, you know, is OK, you know, in her psychological, you know, brain dead, you know, attitude or mental you know, state of mind. Either way, you know, um, it's just wrong. And I just want to cover this because, you know, this is just another bad blow to the sport of boxing, you know, drama, if not traumatic behavior of some of these fighters that don't have mental capacities to handle their emotions in a way where they just can't think straight. And I don't know how a fighter like Felix comes to this, you know, conclusion and like you know, um, I had, like, mad love for Felix, but now I don't, man, you know? You know, uh, this is just as bad as fucking Luis Resto fucking killing, you know, Billy Collins, if not screwing his boxing career up, and Billy Collins committed suicide driving his car, you know, right to a goddamn tree. You know, when he was told by the doctor, oh, sorry, Billy, you know, you just can't see anymore, you're legal. Um, you're legally blind and, and you don't have any means to control your own life anymore. You know, you know, like you have to be treated like a mentally disabled pawn. And, you know, um, I don't blame him, man, because, you know, shit, if he did that to Luis Resto, like, you know, I'd be saying all the shit in the world against Billy Collins. But no, I'm going to stand up for Billy because one, he's a human being and two, he didn't do anything wrong to him. But I'm never gonna fucking put, you know, Luis Resto, you know, as um um as a Puerto Rican fighter. You know, like you're not a true fighter for your own people if you gotta fucking cheat. You're a piece of shit outcast and you are in it for the corruption of human life and destruction of others. Because you cannot call yourself a true athlete when you have to cheat against other people for the sake of your you know, you know, um, malicious intent. To benefit violence on other people. But for this type of story itself to just unravel out of nowhere. As we just witness, you know, a really good fight card of Andy Ruiz versus Chris Ariola, And then the week before that was, you know, Emmanuel Navarrete and Christopher Diaz. You know, it's just, like, you know, um, it's just really sad, man. You know, I don't. I don't understand how people just come out of their way and just do something sick and evil like this. And I'm just getting pissed off about some of these people that talk shit about certain fighters like Adrian Broner or any of these black black fighters or just any fighter. You know, it doesn't matter saying, oh, you know, these guys act like that they're all hot shit, blah, blah, blah. And... You know, they just need to stop being cocky. Well, how about you stop being crude and disrespectful to some of these fighters that put their lives... Yeah, yeah, put their lives um, on the line. Do, do you realize what the mental destruction that certain fighters like Adrian Broner go through that could come to the come to the conclusion like, hey, if boxing isn't making my life good as I want it to be, I'm probably going to do something crazy like that. And, to, to, like, you know, to a certain degree, Adrian Broner almost came close to actually, you know, being a criminal during his boxing career, but good enough that he never went that far because at least he had a decent mm-hmm. social circle around him to keep him together. But still, it's like if a guy like Adrian Broner comes out of his way 
to do some really like you know sinister criminal shit it's like everyone flames adrian broner but if it comes to a person like ryan garcia or let's just say jake paul I'll, like you know i'll use jake paul as a good example before jake paul ever got into boxing like you know in the professional you know game itself he got caught with like that looting shit back in uh the uh riots right I think it happened down in California or wherever it happened. But J. Paul, he basically got fucking arrested for looting a store with his buddies. I think it had to have been out, out in Cali. But basically, you know, like the media definitely did cover it. But the thing was, is like everybody just wrote Jake Paul off as if that was completely okay. But if a guy like Adrian Broner gets into some situation where he hit a woman... And he has to owe her money, blah, blah, blah. And he chose not to give her money. It's like everybody wants to shit on Adrian Broner. Because Adrian Broner is viewed as, to some people that think of him, you know, basically just, you know, a prima donna thug. You know, that that's how people view Broner. Not just because he's black. It's, it's just simply because he's Adrian Broner. He's associated, like, he was once associated with Floyd Mayweather. And he has a lot of publicity pressure that people give to him to the point where Adrian Broner, he like, you know, he just doesn't want to think straight anymore because, you know, all the shit that people throw on him as a fighter and just as just as a individual would drive him nuts to the point where he, yeah, he might do something crazy like that. And look, you know, I don't blame him because some of these boxers really do have bad mental health. If you want me to go back, you know, a little bit further, take take a look at fucking, you know, Carlos Monzon, where he killed his goddamn, you know, girlfriend or a wife or some shit, and I think he murdered her or some shit. Yeah, 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 he did. Um, it was at a, like, some crazy-ass hotel, but I don't know what happened, but basically he killed his girlfriend or wife at the time, and he got locked up for, like... I think like five to seven years or something like that but you know just you know just like stuff like that is just like you know like the little variables that screw up like a fighter's life and for a guy like Felix to do this especially out of like my bloodline being Puerto Rican it's like that hits rock bottom because beforehand I was like riding hard yeah I was riding hard with Felix you know, after he took that horrible loss to, you know, you know, Masasoshi Nakatani. And then I was just thinking so much about, oh, man, like, um, when is Felix coming back? You know, um, is he going to be mentally prepared next time when he fights? Blah, blah, blah. And then now here I am finding out that this piece of shit kills his own goddamn uh, pregnant girlfriend. That, that didn't do anything wrong to him from the looks of it. And, you know, this is just absolutely evil, you know? I don't understand how any man does that to to a woman that you're about to have a kid with. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this isn't, like, the same woman because, you know, um, I uh, follow him on um, Instagram. But I know he has, like, another woman that he's with and I guess... Maybe that's, like, the first wife that he was with. And I guess, like, this other woman's, like, a different person. Because cause if that's not the same woman that he's with that, that had his uh, daughter, you know, that's just, you know, insanely evil. Because, you know, how, like, you know, how do you even come to that conclusion to, like, kill your girlfriend or a wife in that manner to just, you know, cause absolute destruction to her and your future child, you know what I'm saying, and it's just evil, you know, like, I don't, I don't understand how Felix really came to that mindset, but, um, I really hope he does get executed of some sort, because this is just, you know, like, a huge blow to, you know, Puerto Rican boxing, and just, like, you know, the people as a whole, like, I don't, like, you know, I don't know any man on, on earth that thinks that this is okay, and, uh, you know, um, I just feel bad for that woman. Uh, you know, m uh, my love and support goes out to her family. Um, I, I hope, uh, they are doing well. 
and uh it just sucks to see a beautiful woman be taken ta taken down like that you know um i really hope uh they could you know cope well from this and uh to hell with felix man you know that 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 is absolutely disgusting and i mean if he is found guilty in the court of law and you know let's just say he is guilty i'm not going to respect felix but even if he isn't guilty i'm not going to trust his words anymore because you would just know like something stupid like that would happen again where he would do something stupid like that again and it's like it just hovers so many red flags where you're just like you know i can't I can't trust like a person that had been close to being caught for murder for something that he or she could could do again. So, you know, that's pretty much what I got to say. Um, I really hope, uh, you know, that that Marlon girl spirits are safe um, as much as I am not the 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 uh, theistically, you know, religious, but um as I am a deist, I do have some beliefs of a spiritual possible afterworld. But um, I, I do hope that if her spirit is is um, is um, in existence, I, I hope she she is resting well. And, you know, my love and support goes out to her family, including her her herself. To hell with Felix Verdejo. Uh, you are no longer Puerto Rican in my eyes. You are a thug. You are a piece of shit. And uh, I really hope he gets violently prosecuted because you just don't do that to a, to, to a woman. And you don't ever put your hands or just lay violence onto an innocent woman that has not, do, yeah, that, that has not done anything fucking wrong to you. Unless it is for self-defense measures against a woman that did the same intentions against you, but I, I personally, you know, I have what the morals to believe that you just never throw hands on a woman, even on a man who's innocent too, but it's just, you know, um, it's just that the golden rule of, you know, non-aggression ethics, but it's not like human mankind is all that broken, you know, I, I do think people are good naturally, but it's like for, for like for that type of behavior to think that is okay is just as crazy as thinking pedophilia is okay. So so that's pretty much what I got to say. Um, I really hope justice is found if the evidence is shown that Felix is guilty. But if he's not guilty, I'm still not going to trust a word that he says because shit, he might be another O.J. Simpson, Simpson type person where he might get away with that type of shit. Who knows? I don't fucking know. I, I'm just pissed off that something like this would ever go down to somebody that I actually had a lot of love and respect for. But I would really hope uh, justice is found if, if this person is found guilty because you just don't do that shit. You don't do stuff like this to innocent women, especially when you have a kid on the way. You have to be a fucking punk to think that is okay. Oh, you know what? I could just kill like a woman and, you know, pretend as if, you know, nothing's going to happen. As if police are not smart in that manner to, to actually find out that you were the one that did it. And your tracks can be retraced, which I mean, criminals can like, like certain smart criminals can get away with that type of crap. And you have to think of it pretty well, but... Um, but for this particular situation, if the evidence is shown that Felix is guilty, then by all means, you know, lay the book on him, you know, justice will be served if he is found guilty. But if he is not guilty, uh, I'm not going to respect him. Um, I'm probably going to keep my eye on him and probably never, you know, think of his ass like again, you know, that that's just pure evil. So Fuck, fuck Felix Verdejo if he's found guilty. But much much uh, love and respect to Marlon's family and her herself. I, I hope she is resting well. And, uh, you know, I'll be thinking about her. But uh, much love and, you know, respect to all my Puerto Ricans. Uh, you know, like, like, to all my people, um, I hope all of you are doing okay. And, uh, you know, peace and blessings to those that are in good spirits and good health.
So, so thank you very much, and uh, I will post a link in the description, and I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye. Mm-hmm.